Aquarius. Welcome to your weekly tarot and oracle card reading from Born Without Boundaries. This is for general energies. So I try to keep uh, the messages, at least on the YouTube side, in this oracle reading, very general so that they can pertain or be applied to many different circumstances or situations in your life. For specific, deeper inquiries um, and the full tarot card reading and romantic specific reading, that's over on Vimeo and that link is in the description box below. So thank you so much Aquarians for coming back and enjoying my work, for supporting the channel. If you have not, please click subscribe and also ring that bell so you know when I go live and upload all my content. If you are on the plat any platform that allows for commercials, I want to let you guys know that there's going to be a brief word from our sponsor coming up in a couple of seconds. That will be the only commercial break you experience. And I mean, do whatever you want to do. Go run and get some chips, you know, do go take a pee. What we used to do when we were kids and we were watching our favorite sitcoms and what will we do with, the, with those commercial breaks? Do that and I'll see you in a second. Now, for those of you who didn't have to experience commercials, yay! Anyway, everybody welcome back. Let's get right into the reading. This is for the general energies, for the sign of Aquarius, 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 Aquarius. A lot of information came out. A lot of information came out. All right. Aquarius, Aquarius, September 29th and the week ahead, September 29th and the week ahead up through, up through October 7th, September 29th and the week ahead for Aquarius, 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 Aquarius. Aquarius. Well, despite what people believe, you are still single. And I know that maybe there has been a buzz in your social group um, about whether or not you're seeing somebody, you're with somebody, but this message is coming through loud and clear. For those Aquarians that were single, you're still single. And it's almost like you allowed people to think that something was going on in a place where it wasn't because it was, would, would have been more distracting from the things that you really find important to argue the case. So you're just going to keep looking in a direction opposite from everybody else. Like in other words, you're not even paying attention to the crowds. You're not letting what they say or what they think about you get to you. You are this week experiencing a lovely sense of balance that's enabled by this beautiful Libra new moon that we just experienced. There is an exceptional sense of um, happiness inside, inside of who you are, in and of yourself. There is a wonderful feeling this week that everything you need you have and everything you want is either within your grasp or already at your command. You are feeling extremely powerful this week. And here's the thought underlying it. What do I do with all that power? What do I do with all that confidence? And I feel like you have ideas. You have ideas already that you want to share. You could actually have been using any kind of attention that you've been getting lately in order to sort of uh, be a conduit, a way to get people to see you, pay attention to you, and listen to you. That's why you're not saying much. Now, this night might not be about a relationship, neither here nor there. It may be just something that people want to believe about you, Aquarius, that you are letting them believe because A, it's pretty benevolent. It's nothing that you actually have to defend yourself against. And B, 
it's because it's attracting attention to you and quite honestly you love it you love it and this this cat is such a good representation of what you are this week the mentality of the cat is it's playful it's flexible it's focused it's mean if it has to be it usually doesn't want to be and it loves to get affection it loves affection it's almost like this cat is wearing cupid's wings okay so the love you're talking about is just the love where people admire you the love where people recognize you you love to be recognized as something regal royal and associated with almost mystique because you do have a mystique about you aquarius you have a beautiful sense of whimsy and and um, um, sort of spirituality that can really inspire other people. And you want to be inspiration to other people. You want to be inspiration for, for people, but you only want to be touched when you want to be touched. You know what I'm saying? Very much like a cat. It's like a cat will let you know when it wants to be petted. It, a cat will want, let you know when it wants you to look at them. But that's the kind of energy you have this week, Aquarius. You have this energy where you can command people's attention and command people's affection at your whimsy. And it is very whimsical and it is very playful and it is very um, contrived. It's very strategic. It's really based on this lovely sense of balance that you found inside of yourself. And so there's a bunch of people that are talking about you this week. There's a bunch of people who are paying attention to you. You're not, you're almost like not paying attention to all the attention. You're, that's sort of your mentality this week is, um, you know, you want the attention, but you don't want to, um, Yeah, yeah, you, you don't want to, in other words, you don't want to look at the camera straight on, right? That's not what you want to do. You don't want to look at the camera straight on. You want it to keep following you. You want to be pursued. That's what you want. There's this, there's this sense of there's a lot of people that are pursuing you this week and you really like the attention. Not so far, actually, they're kind of stand-up people, if you will. Maybe you have a lot of opportunities coming in. There's a lot of job offers coming in. There's a lot of, you know, opportunity for love coming in this way. Like opportunities where you want them, okay? But if there's this mentality behind you that there's this, it's a beautiful piece. Like I can, I feel it. It's an energized piece. And that's what I mean by why cat is so perfect for you as a totem this week. Because cat is energized piece. Like, there is nothing so beautiful and calming and relaxing and furry and warm and cozy as a cat that's all curled up and uh, fuzzy in her warm or his warm patch of sunlight or by the fireplace. But in a second, they spring to life. And literally, a cat can go from completely asleep to jumping nine feet in the air and flying away. So that's the kind of energized piece I'm talking about in that you aren't trying to make pretend you're sleeping, but you are giving this outward allure of having everything together, of everything being well, of, you know, your beauty being on fleek, your glamour being on fleek, your, in other words, your persona being right, like on point. But underneath, you are definitely loving the fact that all eyes are on you. So you're not, you're not looking at them and acknowledging them, but what you're doing is loving and like, you're almost like sucking them in. You're almost drawing them into you. And it's exactly where you want to be because you feel that you can command their energies this way. At, at the very least, you can command their, um, um, efforts toward you, um, maybe even their offers for you. There's a lot of confidence coming through this week. A lot. Now I keep looking at two cards in particular. This is leadership. 
okay? So I think what Spirit is calling you to do this week, like it's almost like saying, number one, there's somebody that's very important that is watching you. Somebody maybe personally important, but I think more professionally important, more um, a leader, somebody that has influence, somebody that is, if their attention is on you, then you're doing something right. Because this is somebody that wouldn't pay attention to a somebody that was a bunch of bullshit. They don't waste their time. They only pick out people who are special. So this is either more philosophical in terms of you've been picked out as something special, like all eyes are on you. Like there is a quality to you that is um, not just professional, but extremely good at what you do. So this is getting those eyes, not just of popular approval, but of um, professional approval, like talent approval, uh, approval uh, that is about, it's not about, comp it's about competency. This person wouldn't look at you just because you're confident. This person only looks at you because you're competent. You understand? So it's not just like, yes, you're, you're basking all this attention, this popular attention because your confidence is drawing people in this week. But this is a person, this right here, this right here. <laughs> I know, I thought of Cat Williams. This is a person who would not look at you. I'm sorry. Yeah. This is a person who would not look at you if you were not also competent. So there is multi levels here in your success this week. And one is confidence, just how you feel like you're not worried. You're not generally worried about what other people think about you, but you're not generally even bothered by it or irritated by it either. You're loving the fact that you know that you have all eyes on you, but this is a set of eyes that honestly, no matter how much show you put on, no matter how fabulous you looked, you could not get this attention if you weren't actually quality as well. And this is what's looking at you this week. This is that quiet energy that's found you this week. It's a very important energy because it will, being associated with this energy will be a stamp of quality. Being associated with this energy is telling me you're about to ascend and rise to a higher level of competency, capability, and uh, notoriety. Because this is spirit deciding that you're something special. And, oh, I just saw a flicker. And enabling that recognition in the 3D world. So this is definitely an energy. I don't even want to call it a person yet, but I do think that there, I do think that, I'm sorry, I apologize. I do think that this would, man, this would sort of translate into a specific person that has seen you, that has seen you, noticed you, and, um, hmm. Hmm. No, right now they've just seen you. I've, I've, I was trying to inquire as like, let me feel if they've actually approached Aquarius yet. And they have not, they have not. No, but they've noticed you. So stay on point, stay on point. Be loyal to what you, first of all, this is another brand of person. Number one, the, re the meaning of this card, this is people in your life that you love and this is, this is being loved unconditionally. So this is a whole other level of not just notoriety, but really having your A team really close and you knowing who matters and who doesn't. So all this population, popularity, all this attention, um, all of these opportunities that could be coming your way, there is a, there is, in other words, this card tells me you're still rooted. You're not going to let it go to your head. You know who you are because you know what matters to you. And there is a level of integrity here that doesn't show up and that doesn't show up everywhere, especially when there's a lot of confidence. And I feel like this, 
is part of the energy that's drawing in the this attention because there is integrity in you because they see like i said there's competency and not just confidence there's not just cockiness there is competence there is competence 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 I'm trying to get this out of the frame um Yeah, this is definitely an energy. I'm trying to place it. But since it's as general, it could be coming from many different places. It's almost this is what you're looking for. This is like what you're looking for. Those are your standards. So even though you're loving the fact that other people, you know, have chosen you for one reason or another and you don't really care, but... For you, your standards, Aquarius, you need unconditional love. You need somebody who is both these things. This is your standard of quality. Like, like I, the playfulness of all getting all this attention and the reason why you can look the other way so easily is because most of the people who are paying attention to you don't matter to you, but you're, enjoy, you're enjoying the attention. And you should enjoy the attention. The, the thing, the underlying... The underlying reality is that you're getting this attention because you are somebody of sub substance. You are somebody who has something to give and has a way to almost sort of enlighten, like, like enlighten people, uh, move people, um, inspire people, create something that's that's healthy, that's that's nurturing, like contribute good things. Like this is what you are made of. And then the recognition that you're getting, there is definitely somebody, you could be dealing with a Cancerian. This is a can very Cancerian type of energy. Um, also Virgo energy. They're very loyal. It's very do or die. I'm going to love you no matter what. There's nothing you can do to screw up for me. So this could be an energy of um, just somebody who loves you unconditionally coming through um, loud and clear, maybe even influencing the spirit world it's almost like i just heard this it's like spirit has recognized you because this person in the 3d has recognized you because something that you have done or something that you've built or something that you um i can't it's hard for me to explain um it's like the way that you were with this person is what made people or or these important people or spirits see that you were valuable you weren't just something that was fluffy right you weren't just something that was all about the attention the way that you behave in the in, in the way that you carry yourself and how loyal you are and how you um yeah and how you commit yourself to things the contributions that you've made, like the way that you've loved people, the way that you have not just presented yourself, but it basically it was like your actions spoke much louder than any words. And that's what got this attention from somebody who would not pay attention to you if you were all, if you were just all about the bullshit. It's like this double stamp of approval of that Aquarius, especially this week, is not only somebody who has all the flair and all the fanfare, but they actually have everything that it takes and what it takes. They actually have something deeper than that. They have goodness. They have, they have beauty. And it's not something that's going to be easily sullied or distracted. It's part of who they are. So this is a recognition, a big time recognition for your very small, simple, and quiet reality of just who you are, of just what you really are, of your integrity, of your integrity. This also speaks to, I think, in another way, um, somebody that you're looking for. You're looking for somebody who has integrity. This is what how you would point them out. How you would pick them out would be their level of kindness, their level of capacity for love, and their level of connection with spirit. 
And here we have co-create with spirit. So that tells me, Aquarius, this week, this energy this week is you're not alone. Um, you're not alone in terms of your mission, what your real mission is. Yes, the notoriety may be great. It may be coming from all different places, but there is a very specific mission that you are totally aligned with in terms of spirit. And it's almost like this week, your energies are to bring light to a specific matter, to give light to, give recognition to. Like I said, it's like you're happy all eyes are on you and they could be on you for whatever reason. You let people talk, just let them talk. But the bottom line is you're going to take this opportunity to speak truth, to demonstrate a higher level of worthiness. Because you're connected to spirit. And it's almost like you have a spirit message this week. Um, this is kind of the, the card that doesn't make as much sense. But what I feel like this is telling me. Is that there is this. It's hidden. Something is hidden. Whoever is going to come forward to you with these new opportunities, these opportunities that will actually blow you away, has not yet completely come forward. That's what it is. This energy, while beautiful and sincere, is still at least for the at least for the duration the, the at least for the primary portion of this week is hidden. It's still kept under wraps. In fact, it may be somebody that you already think you know, but you don't really know them. They may actually surprise you. And look at eight. This is like eternal, eternal infinity. So it could be that you are, um, oh my God. It's almost like you're, um, oh, give me a second. Give me a second. I'm going to pause the video. Hold on. So two ways. This is either you and the mask that you had to wear to get the attention that you needed to get to actually share this much deeper purpose of your life. Or this is the other person, this is somebody else that even though they've noticed you and their eyes are on you, this week they have not yet approached you. Or you don't yet know this opportunity. You don't yet know. You haven't really pinpointed. There's sort of an ambiguity to this card. Life is a mystery. There's an amb ambiguity. There's an uncertainty yet still about this card. So this is telling me that where the opportunity, where this either where this opportunity is coming from, whether they're a person or it's just a, an opportunity, a project, whatever it is, wherever this opportunity is coming from, this week is still unclear. What is absolutely energetically clear is they have noticed you. They have noticed you. You don't yet know them. Their eyes are directly on you, but your eyes are still in the other direction. Let me show you the cards. All right, Aquarius, so you can see, and this is my Whispers of Love deck, maybe you're a little bit distracted because your eyes are on love this week. This would, be, make, this would make sense because this is a very amorous week. It's a very amorous energy. But this energy, it's almost like, oh, okay. It's almost like, yeah, you're, you're, you're kind of distracted by all the fun you're having and all, you know, just just the playfulness, this energy, and you may be distracted by love. You may have found this like new, um, this new romantic interest, this new romantic partner, something that's a little bit more flirty and uh, fun. So this energy, you don't even notice it yet. And this is a much more divine energy. You see, your focus is not on the people who have noticed you this week. Like I said in the beginning of the video, and be, and because and because it's not you don't realize the quality or understand the depth of who has taken notice of you this is somebody who is still somebody or an opportunity that is still under wraps it in other words what i want to say to you this is the important message that i want to get through to you uh before we go over on um over on vimeo and and really get into this with tarot 
this opportunity is already yours. It's already recognized you. It's already decided upon you. It's not going anywhere. It's yours. What is not yours yet is the knowledge of it. So this is an opportunity that is coming into you, still coming your way. You are a little bit distracted. You're not distracted by who you are. You know who you are. In fact, it's who you are and the integrity that you have and the voice of spirit that you have or you are able to share that has sealed this deal. What has not been sealed yet is that it's not been revealed to you. It's still be, it's still hidden. Now, the reason why it's still hidden, not sure. I'm going to go over to tarot. Let's find out. Um, but it's still hidden. How long it's going to take to get unhidden, not sure. We're going to go over to tarot. Let's try to find out. But the bottom line is, this week, you need to know it's yours. Have fun. You're gonna. This is going to be a very joyful week for you. It's going to be. There's going to be a lot of pleasure here for you, Aquarius. There's going to be a lot of sensational, happy, good times for you this week, Aquarius. What is also manifested now is your place in this larger picture, and um, this opportunity. This opportunity that's coming into you. It, it has literally, it already wants you, in other words. And it would not have picked you out if it weren't. It, it's because of your integrity and your ability to love unconditionally and purely. This pure heart of yours and this pure soul of yours that it saw that has picked you out. So Aquarius. I'm going to go over to Vimeo and clarify the timeline, hopefully, and maybe a little bit more about what or who this is over there, okay? And then we'll get into whatever love you're up to as well. Talk to you soon.